Okay, so we are we are in an era of uh, unprecedented velocity of technology disruption, uh, change, and that's that's really fascinating. And I've, over the last couple of years, I've had the opportunity of seeing it from different lenses. You know, in Fidelity, uh, uh, you know, where I was the CEO for India, but also heading uh, the strategy and transformation for Fidelity's international business. So I saw it very closely in a in a very large very successful global enterprise. The last couple of years, uh, as the chief operating officer of Flipkart, saw it in a digital native, uh, driving the process. And over the last year, as the CEO of Encedo, where we are serving mostly Fortune 100 companies on emerging technologies, their digital transformation. And it's very interesting, and I want to share with you, uh, you know, what I've learned over the last six, seven years in this journey. I think the bottom line is that, uh, you know, our, the technology advancements have far, far overrun, have far overrun the advancement in our management and organizational thinking and approaches. Has far overrun. And Minakshi, I think you set it up very nicely. It's not really about digital transformation, but business transformation. Uh, because I really think that right now, the bottleneck is all of us. Bottleneck is all of us in this room. Um, it is really our, our leadership thinking, our leadership capabilities, our organization structures, which are lim limiting the large enterprises from realizing the full potential of digital technologies. Yeah? So today, I would like to share with you uh, my thinking on what is really different, what is really different about digital, and Manakshi shared some rules. I have my eight rules. I have my eight rules on what you may want to do differently. Okay, uh, busy slides, uh, but there are six, as I think about uh, digital, there are, there are really six things you know, which I think are, are very different and which is why large enterprises end up struggling. The customer is different, the customer is younger, the customer is, has a lot more price visibility has a lot more price transparency uh, because of digital and therefore is a lot more demanding. Um, and so the customer is, has a lot more choice, a very, very demanding customer. Data, there is an unprecedented explosion of data in every possible way. The volume, variety, and velocity of data uh, is humongous, is exploding beyond what we can handle. That's a phenomenal opportunity. That's a great opportunity to understand our customers very deeply, to personalize the customer journeys. It's also, uh, it's also like quicksand. You can really, really kind of fall into that quicksand of trying to manage your data because it, it can become, if you are not careful about it, it can become one of those impossible problems to solve. Yeah? So this explosion of data. Very fast changing, very fast velocity of technology change. Even if you just look over the last five, six years, you know, a couple of years back, you know, we were talking about cloud, digital, mobile, blah, blah, blah. We hardly talk about it because that's become mainstream. You know, we are now talking about AI and machine learning, IoT, blockchain. I'm sure even in two years that will become kind of just part of our, our normal lexicon. But it's not, about, it's not just about the velocity of technology change. New, new, new players are continuously emerging, and industry structures are, are changing. Who you are competing with is probably not even there. And there is a, a new type of player you know, which is not really competing with you. When, 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 I, when I was at Fidelity, uh, you know, suddenly Alipay in China became our biggest competitor. Yeah, in one or two years, they just overran uh, the payments uh, industry in China. So who your competitor is can change very, very quickly. Technology-driven, and Minakshi again touched upon it, business is now technology. The role of technology is changing from being a support to an enabler to actually driving the business. But organizations are not yet ready for it. They're not yet ready for it. Technology is also probably not yet ready to take on that leadership role. Because historically, the positioning of technology within the organization and what it should now be, there is a very big gap in that. There's a very big gap in that. So 
clearly business is not technology driven, but are the organizations ready to absorb that? Not yet. Uh, iterative. Digital is very iterative. There is nothing right first time does not exist. Right first time does not exist. It is very experimentation and learning driven. You do something, you learn, you do A-B testing, and then you kind of refine and you do it again. And a lot of our execution approaches, and as technologists, you know, we love big bang. We love big bang, we love doing big projects. That actually in digital doesn't work. It can actually be a problem. It can be a problem. So this is very iterative. You do not write first time, doesn't work. And finally, it is cross-functional or interdisciplinary. Most of the problems you have in, in, uh, in digital, the, the, this is finally a business problem. And it is no one function can solve those problems alone. And that is where I feel uh, the legacy enterprises really struggle because of our size. You know, we are structured as, as kind of well-defined departments or functions. Uh, whereas the problem to be solved is not structured like that. Yeah, it needs a more cross-functional team approach, uh, and that is where we tend to struggle. So these, to my mind, are six key kind of differences. As you think about our traditional work, and as you think about new technologies and digital, these are the six fundamental drivers. You know, I look at Fortune 100 companies across the sectors I work in, financial services, telecom, life sciences, healthcare, and generally, generally I see companies struggling. Generally, I see companies struggling. Everybody is doing digital. Everybody is doing digital. Everybody is implementing all these technologies. Everybody is shifting budget from more core IT to, to kind of new IT, business IT. But are they really seeing their business outcomes change? Are the business KPIs really changing? Answer, I think, is no. There is a big gap between the promise and the reality. So clearly, uh, for me, that's the bottleneck. You know, we need new rules of management to really win in this era of digital disruption. That is the bottleneck. That is what needs focus. Yeah? And that is what will help us really realize or minimize this gap between potential and reality.